Okay, part two of this um, lesson 11. We were looking at trying to solve for C. We got up to this stage, um, then I ran out of time, so I've created a new video. Okay, we have a minus uh, 3,900 minus 5C equals 3,265. Uh, and then we can just go ahead using our skills of knowing how to solve for an unknown. We have a plus 3,900 here, so we're going to do the opposite of that. Oops, make sure I get my brush tool. Here we go. Um, we're going to do the opposite of plus 3,900, and that's subtract 3,900. Whatever I do to the left, do to the right, cancel, cancel. So we're left with minus 5C. And that is going to be equal to minus 635. Now, it just seems a bit strange, I will, I will admit, that we have these minuses going on, even though we're talking about uh, movie tickets. But even though we get to the stage, the algebra will make sense once we get to the final answer. So we have a, the, a times by negative 5. The opposite of that is divide by negative 5. So this will cancel with this. And C's are going to equal two negatives when you divide them will um, give me a positive answer. And negative 635 divided by negative 5 will give us 127. So, so far, what we can decipher is that the amount of children tickets that we sold was 127. Yeah. I'm going to substitute C equals 127 into this formula here. A plus C is equal to 200 because that was in the first part of the question. So, I'm going to substitute. I'm just going to write sub for short. I'm going to substitute. C equals 127 into equation 1. And what will happen is we'll have A plus 127 is equal to 200. Take away 127 obviously from both sides. So we can get our A value. And the A value will then be equal to 73. There we go. So, we can go ahead and check if we want to. Okay. So, check the solution by substituting into, uh, into an equation or using the cal calculator. Well, I know that 73 plus 127 will give me 2000. And when I do substitute it into equation 2 as well, uh, the amount of tickets for A, the amount of tickets for C, or for adult and for children respectively, times it by their cost, I will get 3265 and you can go ahead and check that yourself to make sure that that does work. Okay. Uh, so we don't need to check for this one. In this case, we do have to write our solutions. So. What was the initial question in the first place? The question was, how many children or children's tickets were sold? It's not asking for adults and children. It's just asking for children's. So, I'm going to write therefore. Therefore. Just making sure I'm writing my therefore symbol. Just being a bit... There we go. Therefore. Children's tickets. Children tickets sold. Children tickets sold. Where? Um, and that was over here, 127. Now you can write it in a different way. The amount of tickets sold by um, for children is 127. As long as you have an answer in the sentence format showing the amount, 
um, will suffice for a solution. Okay, this will be the last example um, for this lesson and last example for all of chapter three. So this um, example right here, um, we're looking at the perimeter of a rectangle. And this perimeter of a rectangle is 48 centimeters. If the length of the rectangle is three times the width, determine its dimensions. Or in other words, determine what the length is and what the width is. So first things first, uh, we'll let L equal length. And we'll let W equal width. Makes sense. L for length, W for width. So, if you want, um, because I am a visual learner, um, I'm going to draw the actual rectangle here. Like so. And we've got... Um, we've got lengths and we've got widths, okay? And what it's saying here is that the whole perimeter is equal to 48. So the perimeter is equal to 48, and to be more specific, 48 centimeters. Now, hopefully by this stage in year 11, you know how to figure out the perimeter um, of a rectangle. It's length plus width plus length plus width, or in other words, two lots of lengths and two lots of widths. So my first formula, 2L, so two lots of lengths, plus 2W, two lots of widths, and this is equal to 48. So this is my first formula right here, or oh, first um, equation, sorry. First equation right here. Two lengths, two widths, add them together, we get 48. Now I'm not gonna write centimeters for now because we're just dealing with equations, but when we answer it, we'll have to consider our units, okay? Now the second clue to this question is saying that the length of the rectangle is three times the width. So the length of the rectangle is three three times or three lots of the width. That is all there is to it. The length of the rectangle is three lots of the width. So if you want to visually picture it, I didn't draw this obviously to scale, but if this is our width here, right here, so we have a width and our width. Our length is three lots of this width. So our length is three lots of those widths. Okay, so um, let's just, instead of writing L, I'm gonna split this up into three different parts for each one. And instead of writing length, I'm just gonna write width, width, and width. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. So when we actually work out the solution, you can s visually see what's going on, okay? How many widths or lots of widths are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want you to keep that in mind while we um, explore this set of equations. Okay, so right now we have L is equal to three W. I'm gonna go ahead and use the substitution method. I'm going to sub, uh, equation number two. Uh, I'm going to sub that into one. So we sub equation two into one. So anywhere I see an L, I'm going to replace it with three W. So two lots of three W plus two W is equal to 48. I can tidy this up. Two lots of three W, well that's just six W. So six W plus two W is equal to 48. Or 
in other words, 6w plus 2w is 8w is equal to 48. Now you can see this is where that 8 lots of widths come from. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is why 8w, or 8 lots of widths, is equal to 48. We can go ahead and now solve for w. And this should be second nature by now. It should be pretty fluent at solving these equations. So divide by 8, divide by 8. Cancel, cancel, w is equal to 48, divided by 8, so we have 6. Then we're going to sub w equals 6, uh, and we're going to sub that into equation 2. Um, let's double check to show you the equation 2. Length is equal to 3w's, so we're going to sub that into In other words, we're going to say that L is 3 times whatever the width is, which is 6. And that's equal to 18. So we've got a width, which is 6. We've got a length, which is 18. So we were right. Therefore, now, what's the question asking again? What um, are the dimensions, or determine the dimensions? Well, in this case, our length, our the length, the length is eighteen centimeters. Remember, we're, we're dealing with centimeters here, and the width. And the width is six centimeters. And that's all there is to it. And that's our solution right here. Nice and simple. All right, that concludes this portion of the lesson. And this concludes uh, the examples and all the board notes for chapter three. Uh, use your log sheet, determine which questions you have to do. And hopefully, um, I will see you guys back with uh, more knowledge in your head, um, thanks to these videos. Hopefully these videos made sense. Um, I'm expecting a whole lot of questions when I do come back. Um, also in regards to when your sack is, um, and chapter review questions, etc. Okay, so my advice is try to get as many questions done as possible from not just this exercise but all previous exercises that I've run with through you. Um, and that way you're in a relatively good position for your sack. All right, until then, catch you later.